free for our nation. Eternal God, we really thank you for having placed us in this land and we are grateful that we are citizens of this nation. We beseech thee to stir our minds and stimulate our hearts with high sense of patriotism as we seek your blessings on this Independence Day of Mother India. May all this day symbolize us, renew our faith and freedom, our devotion to democracy and redouble our efforts to keep a government of the people, by the people and for the people truly alive in our world. Grant that we may highly resolve on this great day to dedicate ourselves anew to the task of ushering in an era when goodwill shall live in the hearts of all free people. Justice shall be the light to guide their feet and peace shall be the goal of humankind. As the days become increasingly dark in our country, we may pray that the light of your love will shine on this land. May peace reign in our nation and protect us from those that would seek our downfall. Give the leaders of this nation the wisdom and integrity to lead our nation in the best direction. Provide for those that are in need, feed those that are hungry, comfort those that are sorrowing, heal those that are sick and bless all the little children of our country. Lord, please be with the frontline workers and keep them safe as they make heroic efforts in dangerous situations to rescue those in trouble. Compassionate Lord, we pray for those who have been devastated by recent natural disasters, that they will be surrounded and renewed with our prayer for strength. All these we ask in your holy name. Amen. Freedom is one of the deepest and noblest aspirations of the human spirit. Respected Principal Sister Elizabeth Rani, beloved teachers, non-teaching staff, dear parents and my fellow Nazarenes, I extend a hearty welcome, cheerful and warm enough to encompass you all as we gather virtually for the Independence Day celebration of our school. The momentous day, that is 15th August in the year 1947, was a golden moment in the Indian history the remembrance of which fills every Indian with a feeling of patriotism and comradeship, as we all feel bound by a common thread of nationalism. This day is celebrated every year with equal amount of zeal and passion. The great freedom fighters who have sacrificed their lives in the independent struggle are remembered with a lot of reverence, and the Javans who have lost their life in the battlefield are paid homage. It is not possible for us to experience the painful journey of our freedom fighters by staying within our comfort zones. But what we can do at present is to strive to build a strong nation through our good deeds and social acts. We should not only live for ourselves, but for others as well. Only then will it be a peaceful coexistence. Realizing that living and breathing in an independent India is a great gift of God. We should not take this freedom for granted, but utilize this freedom and the resources to bring India to the top amongst the list of the developed countries of the world. I once again gladly welcome you all for the events of this day, which we hope will arouse a strong sense of patriotism, binding us all together with a firm bondage that cannot be broken by any destructive sources. We hope you'll cherish this day in the best of your memories. Jai Hind!
The theme of this year's Independence Day celebration is Azadi, the freedom to rise or to fall. Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, said, It will be necessary for us Indians, Christians, Hindus, Muslims, Jews, Parsis and all others to whom India is their home, to recognize a common flag to live and to die for. As we celebrate 75th Independence Day, let us take initiative to analyze whether we have had a positive transformation letting our national flag fly high with pride or whether we have brought shame to the glory of our national flag and to the fame and heritage of our country throughout the responsible and selfish activities. It is a matter of pride that India remains the world's largest democracy. Indian elections constitute the planet's single largest organized human exercise. The words of Aristotle, liberty is the foundation of any democracy. Pinpoint to us is that today money, muscle power, caste influence stand as a threat in exercising our democratic rights. Let us resolve to have more political awareness and strive together in safeguarding and exercising our democratic rights. Our economy has grown exponentially. We are today the world's fifth largest economy by nominal GDP and the third largest by purchasing power parity. But inequality haunts us. The richest 1% in India owns 58.4% of the country's wealth. The richest 10% an astounding 80.7%. The bottom 10% of our nation owns 0.2%. Moreover, the rich are getting richer at a much faster rate than the poor. In the period between 2005 and 2016, we have indeed lifted some to 70 million people above the poverty line, but we still have the world's largest number of the abjectly poor. We should appeal to the richer community that a moment of generous act by the wealthier section to surely stand out as a great asset in uplifting the economical background of our nation, especially during this pandemic situation. Half of India's workforce is employed in agriculture, but agriculture contributes only 16% of the national GDP. Only 35% of our land is reliably irrigated. If the monsoon fails, the farmers in debt and with poor access with markets commit suicide. There have been too many such deaths in recent times. Let us not delay in appreciating the hard work of our farmers and do our best to empower them with technological solutions and render financial supports by paying the best price for their products. Respects photocopies. Do we? Now a part of globalized world, but many of our young are woefully drifted from their cultural roots. Obviously, highlighting that too much of mimicries of the West abounds. We praise our culture but neglect artists and cultural infrastructure. Gender disparity persists prevalently, although far more women are empowered and excelling today. Our Indian Republic is proud to be the land of many faiths, but we always fail to renew a constitutional commitment to respect all faiths and to stand against the forces of racism, intolerance, hatred and violence. We can continue to be 
depending on the progression and regression of our country after independence. But the only need for the art is to promise with the spirit of true Indians that in any circumstances we will be only a contributing force for the development of all Indians. As students, the future pride of India, may you forget the differences among you and stand together to bring the change bringing about peace, unity and progression. May our actions be determined to keep our triangular flag flying higher and higher. We end with an excerpt from the speech of Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of Free India. So long as there are tears and suffering, so long our work will not be over. And so we have to labour to work and work hard to give reality to our dreams. Those dreams are for India, but they are also for the world. Vande Matram, Jai Hind.
I quote the indelible words of our poet laureate. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. These very words became a reality for our country and thus on August 15, 1947, the world witnessed that India was reborn again as a new nation, free from the shackles of a foreign power. Let us turn back the pages of the annals of Indian history to recall this great day as rightly phrased by the first Prime Minister of our country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. It is the day when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. Let us redeem our pledge. This day marks the achievements of our freedom fighters who had no regrets for all the difficulties that they had endured in handing over our legacy of sovereignty and dignity. <laughs> है मेरी जमीन अफसोस नहीं जो तेरे लिए सा दर्द सहे महफूज रहे तेरी आन सदा चाहे जान मेरी ये रहे न रहे ओ हीर मेरी तू हस्ती रहे तेरी आंख घड़ी भर नम ना हो मैं मरता था जिस मुखड़े पे कभी उसका उजाला कम ना हो ओ माई मेरी क्या फिक्र तुझे क्यों आंख से दरिया बहता है तू कहती थी तेरा चांद हूँ मैं और चांद हमेशा रहता है तेरी मिट्टी में मिल जावा गुल बन के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की आरज़ू तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरी फसलों में लहरावा इतनी सी है दिल की आरज़ू It is a day to value and appreciate the richness of our country and the extraordinary history of the struggle and attainment of freedom, justice, equality that was approached by the most peaceful methods. It is a celebration of unity in diversity of the largest democracy. Today, we celebrate with gratitude the inheritance that our ancestors left us of free land for our children to grow up in an independent country. It is a day to take a resolution to be fearless, knowledgeable, truthful, hardworking and have a broad perspective on all aspects. It is a day from when we shall start striving for perfection and make our nation prosper because our nation is our identity and our foundation. variety great variety of aspects such as the languages lifestyle religions habits and cultures which might be different 
but they still unite us into one and invisible frame the frame of indianism india won't be india if not for its diversity we the people of this mighty nation should spread acts of love and service in order to harvest the fruits of peace hope and assurance of a bright future by shunning down narrow domestic walls ge jaadigal vendam saayangal vendam vetrumai vendam vanmai vendam hee maatrugal vendam kirpungal vendam deethangal vendam baake var vendam na koi jaati baat ho na bhed bhav ho na uchh neech ho of our country resolve to receive the guidance from the omnipotent god and work for our motherland reforming and molding her into a haven of freedom therefore let us place our minds before the mirror of eternity and our hearts in the figure of the divine substance may we always have god in proximity in every deed and thought while implementing things for the society at large may the queen of heaven mother of our lord bestow us with love compassion and bless us with peace prosperity and unity as we happily celebrate her assumption into heaven today one freedom which is the foremost gift given to us by god may we be the ones to inspire the world using the benefits of this freedom untainted may our lofty thoughts and actions be the footsteps and the stepping stones for humanity i wish you dear parents students teaching and non teaching staff and all our fellow indians a blessed and grace filled independence day let us progress and not aggress rise and not fall serve and deserve jai hind
India. On behalf of all the Nazis, I stand here to express our deep sense of thankfulness to our vibrant principal Reverend Sister Elizabeth Rani, who has always been the backbone to our success. Thank you, dear sister, for being our motivation and inspiration. We are all grateful to all freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for the independence of our country. Today's beautiful performance has definitely highlighted the need to be patriotic to our country. I thank all the participants of class 8 and our seniors who have participated in the choir and dance for taking up this opportunity provided and showcase a successful moment for today. I thank all the teachers who have guided and tutored our young children to perform and showcase their innate talents. In a special way, we are glad to thank Sir Clement, Mrs. Azel, Mrs. Fancy, Mrs. Anita, Mrs. Diana, Mrs. Merlin, Mrs. Mary Cynthia, Mrs. Ambika, Annas and Akas who have labored behind all the decoration for this event. We thank our parents for being with us today virtually and rendering us a moral support and cooperation for all our activities. Once again, we thank one and all and take your leave with a grateful heart. Bande Madhara Jai Hind!